Hey, so if you've ever tried EFT or emotional freedom technique or also known as tapping, you've probably noticed that it is insanely effective. And over the course of a little over two years, it has completely changed my life. But that made me wonder how the simple act of tapping on a series of points on my body, including my face and my upper body, helps to calm me down so much. So I did some investigation and the points that we tap on are called our meridian points. Um, and they align with traditional acupuncture points, except instead of stimulating these points with needles, we are activating them by tapping on them. The simple act of tapping on these points really works to clear energy blockages and it helps to neutralize really negative feelings. So it's a great, soothing alternative to less healthy coping mechanisms like the ones I used to turn to like alcohol, cigarettes, potato chips, ice cream, you know. I still use potato chips and ice cream, but I abstain from alcohol. Um, and this is a wonderful substitute and it's healthier. So while you're tapping on these points, you think about the whatever issue it is that you're having a problem with that day and you'd like to treat. So the best thing about this practice is that it's customizable, it's insanely easy, it's free, and it can be really quick. And if you choose to, you can write your own script instead of following along with someone. So the basic recipe for an EFT or tapping script is to repeat a setup statement a few times that states whatever issue it is that you're dealing with, and then your acceptance of yourself despite that issue. And while you're doing this, you tap on the karate chop point. So that's the first meridian point. And I'll get to the rest in a second. So for example, you say, even though I'm feeling down today, I completely love and accept myself. And technically you're supposed to use two or three fingers to tap three to seven times on each meridian point. But if you wanna tap more, tap more. Um, and then you wanna start cycling through the remaining points with just continuing to think about whatever feeling it is that's bothering you. And then as associations and realizations come up that stem from that feeling, you can tap on those and clear them too. And then often I finish with a positive spin on the origin or nature of the behaviors that I'm perceiving as negative. So here are the tapping points. You've got the beginning of the eyebrow, the side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, the chin point, the beginning of your collarbone, right on the meaty part right there, under the arm, about four inches below your armpit or right along your bra strap, and then the top of your head. And then I also suggest writing down the strength of your uh, feeling before and after your session just to see how effective the session was and to gauge whether or not you should repeat it. And that is all there is to it. So I hope to see you again soon.